Hi, welcome. My name is Tina, and if you're new here, I had traditional duodenal switch surgery on June 9th of 2020. Um, and so today is June 7th of 2022, so I'm almost exactly two years out from my surgery. So I thought it'd be a really good time to film a video. Um, I first want to address that I've been, excuse me, that I've been pretty absent from YouTube for a little while. I have, I went on vacation to visit some family in Nebraska and um, since then everything's been kind of um, unusual in my life. I've been um, just to have a lot going on. But let's get started with my stats first. Um, so my very highest weight ever, which was I can't even remember when exactly it was, but it was probably six or seven years ago. But the highest recorded weight um, at a doctor's office that I've ever had was 340 pounds. Uh, and then the day that I met Dr. Shrikanth, my surgeon is Dr. Shrikanth in Federal Way, Federal Way, Washington. And I met him the end of February in 2020. On um, that day, I weighed 282 pounds. My day of surgery, which was June 9th of 2020, on that day, I weighed 262 pounds. And today, um, I weigh 172 pounds. So I know I filmed a video before I went on vacation, so that was uh, probably in March. And um, I think that's the same weight I was. So I'm holding steady at that weight. Um, so I, so that's, I'm okay with that. And I, I know I had some goal weights and I, I would really love to be in the 150s, but I'm really comfortable at this weight. I feel really good at this weight. I move well at this weight. Um, and I, I know that a lot of my issue is skin. And so it, it's, it's uncomfortable and it rubs and it's just kind of a hot mess. But um, someday I'll get that handled. Not right now, but someday. <laughs> but I just, just two, 172 is a really good weight for me. I feel like it, um, you know, my face slimmed a lot with the weight loss and I don't want it to get too thin. You know, my my body is like, I, I, I feel like I'm, sm except for my, you know, my thighs are an issue and my hips are kind of an issue. They're still my, you know, my work, my trouble, trouble spots. Um, but I feel like my body is really comfortable at this weight. So, um, and I'm not gaining no matter what. So, I mean, not, and I still have restriction. I still can't, like, I can eat some things if I eat something really carby. I can eat quite a bit of that. Um, and I don't have very much consequences from that. I don't have a lot of consequences if I eat poorly. Um, but I still get very full on meat. And if I eat the, if I eat the way I'm supposed to eat, which is high fat, low carb, um, then I get full really, really fast. So the tool works two years out. Um, so I, uh, I want to talk, first I want to address that I have not filmed for a while and I've still been getting some subscribers, which is really exciting to me. And I'm almost to, I think I'm 490 subscribers and I'm just so, that's very exciting to me and I appreciate that so much. So if, you've, if you're a recent subscriber, um, Please know that I take my channel seriously and I want to do more videos. I've just had some, have some life stuff going on that I'll talk about in a second. But thank you so much for subscribing. And if there's anything that you ever have a question about or if there's anything you would like me to talk about, um, if you could post in the comment section. I always read comments. Um, I would, there's go, they were going, last time I filmed a video, they were, there was this issue going on where I wouldn't see a comment and, or I would see it. And then when I go, would go to reply to it, it would be gone. And I heard from watching other videos that other people were having the same problem. So um, if I don't answer your comment, that's why. Um, but I try really hard to always answer comments. And, I, you know, I really love chatting with people. And uh, so please comment and let me know if there's something you have that you're curious about. Um, so I wanted to talk about why I haven't been posting very often. And... Um, I, I mentioned at some point in my recording videos that I have multiple sclerosis and it's been kind of an issue in the last, probably the last year. And 
Um, it, it makes me very, makes my body just move very, very slow. It makes um, making plans really difficult. So if I want to film a video and I get ready to film a video and then I don't have the energy that day to do it, even though it seems like it wouldn't take a lot of energy to just sit here and talk to people, it does take mental energy, which I don't really know how to explain to you if you don't, if you have never had that. But um, so that's part of the reason I've been not feeling very good. Um, and the second thing is that I, I went to Nebraska in April to visit my family and um, that I had a lot of fun uh, and I had plans to record a video while I was there. I had plans to record, you know, I had all these plans, but it just didn't happen. And um, in the meantime, since we've been back, a lot has happened. Um, my, my husband's oldest child graduated from uh, graduated from high school in a couple of days and so that leaves a lot open for us and we knew that that was coming <clears throat> we rent we currently we rent a townhome and our property was is being managed by a new company and to make a really long story short our rent is going up like six or seven hundred dollars a month and so we had initially thought that we would stay in the Seattle area for a while just to, um, I don't know, just to stay for a while because we like it here and because, I don't know, why not? But when we found out that our rent was gonna go up so much, we just said, we're just gonna go. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to go. And we've been, my whole house is packed up. That's why I'm filming down here because um, everything, and my lighting might be a little bit weird because a lot of stuff's already been packed up. And as soon as I'm done filming this video and I'm gonna, pack all this stuff up. So I have a ring light and a, um, a big umbrella light, light thing and my mic and stuff. So I don't have a lot, but anyway, I, we're getting ready to move and moving for me isn't, it's, you know, I'm 53 years old and I, moving isn't a, a good time for me. It takes a lot for me and, um, excuse me, <coughs> I need water. Don't forget to drink your water. <clears throat> takes a lot out of me so we've been packing up packing packing and we're getting ready for we're gonna do it we're doing it old school we're not hiring anybody we're packing everything up in a u-haul and we're gonna stop at my daughter's house my daughter lives in Idaho and we're gonna stop there and unload some things for her and then we're gonna go to Nebraska and I'm gonna stay with some family while I'm there while I'm there while my husband's getting stuff settled and handled in the Seattle area so that we can move permanently to the plan is to move to upstate New York so yeah <laughs> to me that's a lot I know a lot of people probably wouldn't think that was a lot but to me that's a lot so I really want to do some like vlogs and and just talk about different parts of the country just because I think that those kind of videos are really fun and I have so much more energy than I did you know, when I was 282 pounds, 300 pounds, you know, I could, I can probably do a lot, hopefully, if I feel well. <laughs> um, so I want to do some videos in those places. And that's my plan. And I was, it's been my plan to record every week since 2020. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to fulfill that plan, but I, that's what I want. <laughs> I'm going to try. So anyway, I also want to do, um, The reason I'm posting today is because we, ha because number one, my two year surge diversity, it was really important to me. It's kind of a huge land, land milestone. <laughs> it's kind of a huge milestone two years out, but I wanted to just kind of talk about how I'm feeling and how this, my body is working at this point. So I was going to do a, what I eat in a day. Um, but if you watch any of my other, what I eat in a day is, it's the same. I still eat the same. The only thing that's a little bit different is I eat. Um, I'm just, I don't try to eat something that I'm not, I don't want. So I used to try to eat more meat or try to change things up, but I've just decided at this point that eating the same thing every day is fine. I'm, I'm good. I don't mind it. I like it. And there's another person that I've been following for years. Her name is Lindsay Zoll and she had VSG surgery. And she says, she's the same way. She says the same thing. So she eats, she eats the same thing almost every single day. I eat the same thing almost every single day. I have my coffee. I have my protein shake. I have 
some deviled eggs, I have a pickle, I have some, a couple cheese sticks, I have some cashews. It's the same thing every single day. Um, but I don't know, I just, I just thought I, I just wanted to, I, I did record um, a few days ago, we had some keto stroganoff. And I don't think I've ever recorded us making that before, but it's really, really tasty. And so I am gonna slip that in at the end of this video because just in case you're interested in that, I'll post the re put the recipe in the comments so you can see that if you're interested, but it's really good. If you like stroganoff and it's just very hearty, um, even though it's very low carb and it's, it's delicious and it also keeps well. So, cause I can't, you know, I still can't eat a lot. So the next day it tastes great too. And so I'm going to post that recipe, but I just, yeah, I just wanted this to update you and say hi to everybody. And thank you so much for being subscribers. And thank you so much for the support all this two years I've been recording for, I think I started recording when I was about three months after my surgery. So almost three, almost two years I've been um, chatting on YouTube and chatting with people in the comment section. Or if you, if you follow me on Instagram, it's a lot easier to message me if you have a private message that you'd like to, me ad to address. I would be happy to do that. My Instagram I'll put below in my, comment, in my uh, information box, but it's just the same. Uh, Tina underscore Lee underscore DS. Um, if you are interested in following me that way, that would be fine too. I'd really love it. I'd love to chat with you. So I hope everybody's doing well. I, I do stay, t stay as if, if I know who you are, I try to find you on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever. If you're, if you're somebody else that posts and I try really hard to find you and follow you as well. And I just really appreciate the people that I've been following for the last almost two years. Um, means a lot to me. It's so much fun. And so anyway, thank you so much for being patient with me during this time that I'm going through all this um, unusual stuff that I'm <laughs> I'm trying to deal with as best I can. Um, and I will post again when I can. Hope Maybe I'll post something on the road while we're doing our little road trip. But um, I'm not a person that travels well, <laughs> so I'll do my best. But anyway, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like, please like and comment as well. I love comments and I love um, interacting. I love my community. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. So for this recipe, we need three ounces of mushroom pieces and pe pieces and stems, um, twenty ounces of beef, and we used ground turkey. Now here's the mushroom pieces and stems. Um, half a cup of chopped onion. Um, we used a pound of ground turkey, an eighth of a tablespoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter. Um, we used one teaspoon of mustard, a quarter cup of sour cream, and a quarter eighth of a cup of salt. I'm sorry, eighth of a table teaspoon of salt, and then just water. And you just um, you just heat the or cook the onions in the olive oil until they are translucent ish, and add the mushrooms until they get soft, like this. And then you um, you brown the meat and add it to the. All it's actually it's most of the ingredients. The cup of beef broth. Um, we just used a bouillon bouillon cube, um, so we added a cup of water to a bouillon, bouillon cube, and then here's the ground turkey we added. Uh, and this is cauliflower rice, so we just kind of fry this up so that it tastes sort of rice-like. And oh, excuse me. And then this is just how we serve it up. Just the rice or the cauliflower rice first. And then here is the, it's really, it's just the meat and the mushrooms and the onions and the gravy. And this is kind of sloppy, sorry about that. And then I put, of course, if you know me, you know I'm a sour cream person. <laughs> I use full fat sour cream and I use a, a lot of it. 
So I put that in there and it tastes really, really good. It's very hearty and it's very, very filling. For a keto meal, I just think it's, it's really good. 